I'm going to do walking meditation now, and I'll explain how to do that. We'll do it outside, and everyone takes their own walking path, which is about 20 to 25 paces long. In other words, you make yourself a marker from one tree to another tree, or from the house to the tree or wherever you want to walk. should be a level area, but there's uh, lots of room out there with level areas. So you take your own walking path, and on this walking path you walk back and forth. Walking meditation is not the same as taking a walk. We'll discuss that also. But this is actually a meditation method. Just as we watch the movement of the breath, we watch in walking meditation the movement of the foot. So we do not pay any attention to the breath at all in walking meditation. It's either or. And when we sit, we use the breath. When we walk, we use the the feet. We keep the eyes open and down. They go automatically in front of the feet. If we put them, if we look at the feet, that's distracting. So they automatically go in front of the feet. If we keep them up and look around, it's distracting. There's always something to see. The hands should be clasped together in front or in back of the body so that they don't dangle about, which is also distracting. So keep them together like clasping your hands in front or in back. And we will do the walking meditation to start out with in a six-point movement, which is demanding enough to possibly keep the mind on it. Six-point movement means that we have two movements to get the foot off the ground. First one, the heel up, then the foot up. Then we have two movements in the air, one up in the air, one forward. Then we have two movements coming down, heel down, foot down. And the first foot has to be completely down before we raise the second one. Otherwise we have two things and don't know where to put our attention. So again, one movement, heel, then foot. So that's two to get off the ground. Two in the air, one up, one forward, two coming down, heel down, foot down. That makes it six. Now, to start out with, you might want to count one, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. As soon as it becomes quite obvious what to do, you can stop the counting. When it becomes mechanical and you're walking nicely in a six-point movement and thinking of a thousand other things, Stop. Stand still and start again. It can easily become mechanical after a while. Maybe not the first time, but maybe the second time. It's also good when you stand before you start to make a determination. I want to become concentrated or I like to meditate or whatever it is. I like to have peace in my mind, or I want to train my mind. Whatever it is you like to tell yourself, make a determination, like a New Year's resolution. Of course, you then have to drop that in order to become concentrated. We can't have two things in the mind at the same time. But you start out with a determination. It's like an anchor post. It's something that the mind gets anchored on. And again... Appreciate your own effort and then start. It is quite a good practice. And when you notice that the mind has run off into the world again and has all sorts of thoughts, to stand still a moment and start all over again. It's perfectly all right to stand, collect yourself and do it over again. 